Welcome back to the channel and to my adventure with the CTS wardrobe. This is officially part nine. So in this video, I'm going to res my wardrobe in world and show you what it looks like and how to change what it looks like and also how it works, or at least how you can see what you have in your wardrobe. So without further ado, Let's go to inventory. I'm going to go to my wardrobe folder and you want to res out, let me zoom out a little bit here, res out the part that says closet. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to drop it here and voila, there is the wardrobe. Now of course it is sideways, so uh, yeah. We're going to have to move that because <laughs> that is not working for me. It's not where I want it. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to edit and turn this sucker around. Whoops. Oh, if you hit control, if you hit the control key while you're in edit, you get the little rotation. Otherwise, you can hit rotate and it'll rotate it for you. Okay, let's go back to move because I want it against this wall. Where's the wall? Oh, 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 little laggy, little laggy. It's all good. All right. So that's good, right? Good positioning. Good enough. Click out of that. Now, it's going to take it a minute to res, obviously, completely. It's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> okay. So when you're ready to change what it looks like, we're going to come down to the menu, those three little bars, and I am going to go to setup. And from setup, you go to closet styles, and then it brings up this menu. So you can change it, what it looks like, just by clicking on the actual style that you want. There's that one. These are all plain. Well, of course the flowers wasn't plain. But anyway, you get the point. You can click through and choose different styles. This is the one that I like. So I'm going to leave it at that and close that out. So now there is my wardrobe in world. And then I'm going to open the doors by clicking on them. And it's going to tell me that it's loading my wardrobe. Showing Jazz's wardrobe. Okay, so in order to get it to show up, when you mouse over the white part right here, I can hit the home button. And it's going to probably take it a minute to actually show up. There it is. So there is my wardrobe. And if I click on show all, it's going to show all the stuff in my wardrobe. And technically I can use it from here, right? So that's how you use it in world. <laughs> Let's scroll back up, shall we? So that's how it works in world. And you still have all of your dialogues here and all that good stuff. But I like to use the web version because it spreads it out more and I can see more. I mean, I could zoom in on it, but I don't do that right now. All right, so I'm going to click on the doors and that will close it. But basically, that's how you get your wardrobe in world to be able to look at it without going to the web page. So that is short and sweet. And in the next video, in part 10, we're going to work on how to do a base body. Why do you need a base body? Because that way, no matter what you have on, you can get down to your very basic body to get dressed again in one click of a button. So I did learn how to do that. So I'm going to show you guys how I set up my base body in the next video. So until then, peace out and I'll see you in a bit.